Namaste. I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews episode 40 about India's reusable launch vehicle. Yes, India is about to launch a prototype of its space plane RLV, which will not yet go to space but will in the future. It has a similar design like most of its kind featuring a bullet shaped body with tiny wings in the back. Bigger wings would be ripped apart upon re-entry and probably also launch since the RLV is the only one I know of which launches without a fairing mounted directly on top of a 1 meter wide solid rocket booster. An experienced KSP player will already see how unstable this whole vehicle is so they have to add big winglets at the bottom which shall help to keep the rocket heading in the right direction. The launch was shifted many times over the years and the date is probably not carved into stone but the rocket shall lift off on Monday, May 23rd at 4 am UTC or 9.30 am locally. It will take off from Satish Dhawan, India and head eastwards over the ocean. At this point I'm not sure about the exact flight path because India's space agency has not yet released further details about it. However, as mentioned RLV will not go to space which means this will be a suborbital flight. And this means if the rocket manages to hold its direction, which is quite challenging in KSP, it will separate at roughly Mach 5, which is only one fourth of the velocity needed to reach a stable low earth orbit. RLV itself is just a test demonstrator, has no propulsion itself and will fly a ballistic arc up to 70 km high and plummet back to ground afterwards. This first test is called HEX-1, which stands for Hypersonic Experiment 1 and will test the overall plane endurance but also the autonomous flight and landing capabilities. Its future versions will be gradually increased in complexity and specs will for example feature a so called scramjet propulsion. Unlike a rocket engine which carries fuel and oxygen in tanks, a jet engine uses the atmosphere's oxygen to achieve a combustion. For that a regular engine compresses the air it sucks inside using very fast spinning fans. Now there are basically two different types of such engines. One called turboshaft uses the exhaust to spin up a well shaft which then drives a rotor for example as used in helicopters. So a helicopter jet engine produces no thrust because all the energy of the exhaust is transferred to the axle. A jet engine in a plane on the other hand obviously does since the latter part is basically missing so the exhaust can shoot out freely. Now at very high speeds, which means above the speed of sound, the air compresses itself and no fans are needed anymore to achieve a combustion. This is roughly how a ramjet works and it's much simpler and there are no rotating parts inside which would limit its capabilities. A scramjet as will be used by RLV is a supersonic combusting ramjet and the main difference is the incoming air is no longer break down and rushes with supersonic speeds through the engine. Such an engine could in theory be used to reach almost orbital velocities, but the main problem is of course the heat. Anyways, RLV is not yet equipped with such an engine and will as mentioned just glide back to the ground. It will also not land on the runway which will be performed in the next test but splash down in the ocean smoothly and hopefully not get destroyed to be reused. Similar looking vehicles from other countries are for example the famous Dream Chaser which has yet to fly, the lesser known X-37B from Boeing and ESA's IXV which performed a similar mission a few months ago. I really hope the launch will be broadcasted live but I'm not sure about it. If you happen to know more please feel free to share it and I will try to keep the description up to date with relevant links. Ok, that was KNews episode 40 about India's reusable launch vehicle and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.